Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Rose Haven Yarn Shop on Sunday, um, Sunday class, Sunday hello, uh, with me, Zian. Uh, I'm the in-house teacher um, on Thursday afternoon from 2 to 4, and Sunday from 10 to noon, and then 1 till 3. I'm going to take advantage. Um, Either people people are late or the rain is making them shine this morning, which is fine, and gives me uh, sometimes to talk with you guys and say a little quick hello. Um, so to start with, this is the fine sand that you've seen as a progression as time went by, and last night I did. This was an option to put all around to put a front edge trim. The, the way that she made this knit it, it did give sort of a little side, but it was rolling too much. I think it's because of uh, me using this type of wool. It's called a lino and it's cotton lin, meaning that it's 50% linen and 50% cotton. And yes, there is two colors in there, which is absolutely lovely. It gives this garment, um, yeah, I think it's just going to be spectacular. It's going to be very nice to wear in the summer uh, over a dress, uh, you know, evening wise or stuff like that. And um, turned out beautiful. I love the way that they designed it. The, it's very hard to see right now, but there is sort of a triangle shape happening throughout the back, and there is decrease happening under the armpit. So we do have sort of a line right here, right now, and so this gives the front a very nice shape. And i uh, try to pin this on just to give you an idea, but yes, I did do, it was sort of a three row, um, simple knitting so we picked up stitches two for every three rows but we picked up all the stitches from the neck so the neck is very nice and I did do a surprisingly uh, loose bind off that we all know and love and if you don't uh, know that technique so when we do bind off and this is going to be my trick of the day when we bind off we knit a stitch we knit the second stitch and then we take the first stitch and we're passing it over this guy. So it sort of sits at the neck of the second stitch. So this way we're sort of lying a chain of stitches and that's what closes everything up. That's called the bind off. To have it loose, because sometimes, I thought I saw something on the floor, but it's this little guy that caught my eye, which is the ball at the end of uh, so I thought it was something was moving from the floor. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, so to make this, because sometimes when we do a bind off, if we do pull on our yarn a little bit, we can end up with something that's supposed to be that wide with something that is, you know, almost this wide because we're making it too tight. This one, I didn't want to change the shape at all of this, um, it's called fine sand. So I decided, and that's always the thing too, is after you're done your bind off, if you don't like it, you could just redo it. So this is um, the garment, and I could see that there was that, that uh, trim edge on the side. So when you're doing the surprisingly loose one, is you're knitting a stitch, then you're doing half of a yarn over. A full yarn over, if your yarn is at the back, you would totally go around your needle. But when you're doing half of a yarn over, your yarn is at the back, you're just bringing it to the front and then you're knitting the other one. So when you are taking the stitch and your yarn over over, it's like there's a little bit more um, uh, yarn that you're passing it through. This way meaning that it makes a looser but it's not loosey-goosey, but it makes an edge. So if I'm just lifting the garment, you know, like it's following uh, the stitch. So it's not binding it uh, together. So I know that I've got the right, uh, the right amount of yarn to give this just that it just, you know, 
falls down uh, very easily and nicely. So the uh, Felix, um, um, it's at the same progression. So still loving it, uh, very loose in the sense of cloudiness because I'm using two strand of mohair, the colors uh, that Leslie dyed. And yeah, it's gonna be very fluffy. So it's not as, it's sort of tight knitting, obviously, because it's two strand of mohair, so we can see through it. I think you guys remember. I'll sh just show you the sample, but see, we can see a little bit through, right? Just because um, it's, it's, yeah, two strand of mohair. That's exactly why. Because this cardigan is supposed to be knitted in uh, DK yarn, and it's the one that's got you choose if you want a v-neck if you want a round neck if you want it crop if you want a big band here of ribbing which i will do so this is really the one that i will do which is crop uh crop sorry which is v-neck and this um band is is pretty wide actually so i'm at the point of just separating right now to have the sleeves on hold I'll just put it here quickly so you can have a peek so if you missed it last week so yeah so when we do put sleeves on hold obviously if you do have a kit uh, that you've got the cables and you can just put your extra cable and that's what I did on this guy I am using myself the um, Aya Aya um, Shia Goose got the same thing, Knit, uh, uh, Knitting Prize got the same thing, Like is another brand, or you can even use the new thing is those plasticky tube, which are the uh, Barber, um, I don't know if I have it with me, but I, I'll get this guy out to show you, do I have the, it's called the Knitting Barber, and it's piping. I think I do have a small one in this in this pilot thing. Maybe, maybe not. I'll look in this bag if I do. But just to have you um, to sort of show you. So this guy, sadly enough, my um, my needles that I'm using, the cable is not extra long, so it's harder for me. To open it up for you without everything um, falling off the needle but when we are starting this cardigan uh, there's only like three stitches at the top right here and then we're starting this fancy five make five so within one stitch we are going to knit yarn over knit yarn over knit which creates a hole, but it's so pretty. So I'm, I'm done this portion going under the armpit, so to separate, and then see the other side of that arm is going to be the same. Isn't it pretty, eh? Yeah, so this is going to be a very fluffy, light, uh, summer, yeah, summer on top of a dress again. Um, this is going to be probably, I'm going to say elbow length for the sleeve. Um, a lot of cardigan are on right now on needles. That's what people uh, do want. Oh yeah, I was going to show you, do I have some in here? Oh no, I don't. Well, there's, we do have some, uh, like go on the website. We have the, it's kind of a piping plastic little tube and what you do is you poke it at the end of your needle and then you can just slide off and just leave everything on instead of a wasting yarn or a waste yarn so this way when you're ready you're just poking it at the end again and sliding everything uh, less messy less chance to uh, lose your stuff and so yeah so this guy I'm ready to put the shoulder on the side and then continue the body the body is very short it's gonna be like four inches and then it's the ribbing so uh, the last thing I want to talk to you about this week is in the window uh, for pride we've put back the gradient descent uh, which is the scarf 
that I made and it's linen stitch with two color and when it's the single color it's half linen stitch it was a beautiful shawl and um, yeah so I did a few of those last year and when Leslie was talking about um, showcasing her yarn and to have project that you know has her yarn in it it's like oh my goodness right away this is what I saw in my head is like oh, we should just do an other one of that shawl to sh showcase your colors because uh, Leslie she honestly does a beautiful job with the dyeing of this yarn and so we are talking fingering so what does this is black river black cap then we have Swamp College Road. We have open it, Opening Night at the Regent. We have Rosehaven Beastie. This is our, our uh, I'm going to say mascot color of the store. Funny enough, right? Like these are, are this, which is the fingering with this mohair color would have been stunning also. That was kind of the inkling I had, but I'm changing the subject that I don't want to do. This is Mustang Night. This is County Sunset. This is Ciderlicious. And this is Summer Meadows. So we started with seven colors at the beginning because uh, the shawl that I made uh, was the color of the rainbow. So we needed seven colors. But I'm at the side delicious right now. And the transition now is going to be side delicious going into the Black River Black Caps. But I wanted something in between. So look at this it's not a good choice so the summer meadow is uh, going to be added on so there'll be an eight color so i'll start with the small point because we do start with just a little bit so this is the half linen stitch when we go into the linen stitch look at this definition it's so nice it's still stretchable so that stitch could like you could knit anything with it um does it take more yarn i'm not sure it just seems to be compacting it oh i'll get this out of your way okay so again we're, we started with uh the black river black cap and then in here you've got two colors so the first one and then we've got the Swam College Road in the half linen stitch. This section is linen stitch again, and we're introducing to the Swam College, we're introducing opening night at the Regent. Then we've got opening night alone as a um, half linen stitch. Then we are introducing Rosehaven Beastie for the linen stitch, then he's alone. Then we are introducing County Sunset. I think that's my favorite combination into, um, yeah, these two are very, very nice together. And then we have the half linen stitch of just the County Sunset. I think I'm Mustang County Sunset, yeah. And that's it. So County Sunset is that pinking, pinkish orange. And now it's in the linen over here with the Cider Licious. So the next section is going to be just Cider Licious. Then it's going to be these two together uh, to make the linen. This one alone. This one together to make the linen. And then this one alone. 
and I think that's the end. If, if it's not the end, this guy is coming back again, right? So look at this baby. This is all, well, not all, this is some of the color that Leslie dyes, but this is all done with Leslie's color. Um, beautiful yarn to knit with, uh, fingering weight. Um, I did have a label. Yeah, so the one, the summer, this guy. So one skein uh, is 420 yards. And superwash merino, 80%, 20% nylon. Perfect for your socks. So whatever is left over, uh, you can do, you know, whatever you want with it. Yeah, so this is Gradient Descent. This is by Max the Knitter. I don't have the front page um, of the pattern. And if doing the linen stitch scares you, um, just come. Come see me. We'll do one session just to start you off because the whole shawl, uh, one edge is straight with um, I-cord and we are increasing one stitch every time on the right side and there's two stitches for me to teach you there would be the half linen and the full linen stitch and it's not complicated yes you do have you know there's steps and of course if um uh if you don't follow it it's not gonna look like it, it it's looking i wanted to show you the back of it see that's the back that's the of that linen stitch so this shawl is going to be as pretty on one side as on the other anyway that's it for this week uh, Leslie and Vera and some of the zoom people are away for the weekend I'm sure you've seen some of their pictures and stuff like that on Instagram and on uh, this website don't hesitate if you have questions, if you want to come see us, uh, we'll be more than happy to help you with your project and uh, all of that stuff. So on that note, have a beautiful Sunday. See you guys next week. Bye.